Hanna Serhienko, 65, lives in a small village about two hours south of Kiev, where her house acts as a hub for local volunteers making camouflage nets for the front lines. The war did not start a year ago. It started in 2014. I was retired but still working and I didn't know how to help. I could not go to the front lines. Then I saw people weaving camouflage nets on TV. So, I found like-minded people, quit my job and on December 9, 2014 we started weaving. When I sent a photo of the first net we made to the volunteers in Odessa, they said, this is not a net, this is a carpet. It was way too dense. When the full-scale invasion started, I posted on Facebook calling my neighbors to come and join the weaving. And they did. The children are really enjoying it. We try to mimic nature. There are no single colored blocks or straight lines in nature. I grew up in the Bulgarian district in the Odessa region. Bulgarians settled there during the Russian Turkish War. Everybody speaks Bulgarian there. When we went to school, they taught us Russian. The first time I heard Ukrainian was in high school. In my first assignment, I made 140 mistakes. I'll never forget my Bulgarian roots, but I was born and raised in Ukraine, I live in Ukraine. So, I usually say we are Bulgarian-Ukrainian. In winter, when we are weaving, we do dirty snow colors. It's not fully white, but rather with some blotches. Now, it's not spring yet and there's no grass. So we use grey and black and a little bit of green in some spots. In April there will be more green and we will add some colours. And then starting from July, and this was different last year compared to before, because we wove for Kherson, which is different from Donbass, we will use yellow and brown colours. And then for September and October it's yellow and red, like the leaves. Every time we weave the winter camouflage nets, I think I hope this will be the last time we make them. Each season, we are hoping that we are making this season for the last time and will never have to do it again. But unfortunately, for all these years, we've been coming back again.